We have another integral test to see if this series converges. And the integral that we need to complete is this one right here. To complete this integral, we need to realize that we can use a u substitution. If we use u equals negative x squared, we get du is negative 2x dx. Since we have a 2x dx right here in our integral, we can just replace that with a negative du, and our integral becomes integrating e to the u is just e to the u. And I'm going to substitute back in for what u was in terms of x. And then I'll just leave the limits of integration on x. Again, if we're going to complete this improper integral, the most proper way to do it would be to change the upper limit of integration to a b and take a limit as that b goes to infinity. Then we can plug in our upper and lower limits. And if we plug in b equals infinity, we get e to the negative infinity. Knowing what a basic graph of e to the x looks like tells us that if we take a limit of this function as x goes to negative infinity, we're simply going to get 0 for this first term. Therefore, the solution to the integral is just e to the negative 16th power. That is a finite number. That means that our integral converges. And by the integral test, our series converges as well. Note again that the integral test does not say what the series converges to. And the series does not necessarily converge to e to the negative 16. All we know is that the series does converge to some finite number. Okay, I hope that that helped you out. And these videos go pretty fast, so I think you should just go on to the next one.